The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. That is actually the first law. It's the law of good shape, as it's called. And um, what happened there is I, I just showed the, the image for a, a short duration, and the mind parses that compresses it uh, to, to remember it because, well, you want to do other things, check your mail or whatever. So it's just know that and try to, to, uh, to get it right. And by that, it simplifies it. And um, you can't or you can hardly remember, well, this is going up a little bit, then has this point here going down, here a corner, there. You co uh, compress it into a more simple or easy to remember shape. And that's actually something to, to keep in mind, that if you want to design something, well, keep, keep it simple, keep the, the forms uh, um, uh, not, not abstract. Yes, and um, well, there are some people who can actually remember all of this, uh, so people with an eidetic memory. Uh, and this is both a blessing and a curse as well, because, well, you would excel in a task like this. But um, what my idea of that is that this, this compression algorithm that we are having is there not, not working um, as effective, so to speak. So you get everything in at the same time without filtering, without compressing it. And um, actually, that yeah, is, is very hard for people who have this eidetic memory. So let's get to this one. If you were to, to tell me what, what to draw, how, how would you describe this? Here. Mm, two lines. Two lines. <laughs> and then I would... Next to each other. Next to each other. OK. So you, you would say, well, draw two lines two and... Two pairs of lines. Two pairs of lines. Yes. And um, I think no, no one go there and tell, well, you have one line. Then you have two lines that are very far apart, and then you have another line. Um, so yeah, the, the easy psychology answer there. So correct. Don't have to go see a psychiatrist just yet. So and that is the second law, the law of proximity, that we tend um, to uh, uh, perceive things that are close to each other, that they are belonging together. And um, this, um, well, also works over time. So if I have light flashing, if I have a light flashing two times, then stopping two times again, I would say, well, there is a light flashing two times, stopping, going again, uh, as I have, <laughs> sort of. But you know what I, what I wanted to tell you with that. And uh, that is uh, uh, how the mind works. It, it groups these uh, uh, things together um, when, they're, when they're close to each other. Um, so that, that allows us to, to um, make clear what belongs together just by the placing. I don't need a, a line connecting them or of some sort. And we saw that in the um, example um, with the um, text labels, for example. There, there's a label and then the text field. And just because, because they're close to each other, you, you perceive them as um, belonging together. And um, another example is... Um, very often in, in um, user interfaces today, you have uh, you can adjust your toolbar as you want it. And um, for example, in, in Firefox, you also have this white space that you can drag in. And that's actually just helping you to group um, these, these things together um, that uh, the ones that you perceive should, should go together are in, in close proximity of each other. And otherwise, if you have everything crowded, that becomes really complex and, and hard to pass. And um, Professor Borges told me the story, well, there was the, the, uh, a design company or, um, that created a graphical user interface. And he said, well, why, why is this button here? Why, why does it fit there? And they basically said, well, we had space. <laughs> so just putting everything in, having as much information there, eh, possibly not, not the best idea. Yeah, and the law of proximity, well, when you were uh, at the Mensa a couple of weeks ago, and I'm not sure when that this changed, but you might have seen this. <laughs> <laughs> so 
you, you have your blue card where your money is on and you want to check, uh, uh, well, how much do I have left? And you see this, check it here. Well, if you hold it in front of this or even press it, well, there might be some people coming to assist you with that, but um, possibly not what you expected. So actually, what you should hold it up is here, but the law of proximity points you into the wrong direction here. Okay, so next example. What should I draw here? Three boxes. Yes, also correct answer there. Um, so no one would go, well, I have two close uh, uh, lines here to here, and they have bars on top. Um, so actually here, the, the law of, of proximity is, is overridden by something, something else, and um, that is called uh, the law of closure. So that, um, yeah, things that, uh, um, are in, in, in one line, so to speak, or in one uh, entity you, will, uh, you perceive as belonging together. And, um, well, uh, this is, yeah, the foundation of the window metaphor that we have on our desktop. So the, the windows that we see there, well, they're just on, on, on one screen, but still we think this is one window. If I move it around, it's not that one label will stick there because it, it, is, it is one uh, um, unit there. And um, the, the problem is this now points there, well, I'm making boxes around everything, but don't, don't overdo it because, well, then you might ed end up with something like this. And, uh, well, there we have the contact info in one box. We have the name that is in one box, first and last name, also boxes around here. Then the address. Same thing again. And here, assets, salary, real estate, bank, accounts. And in the end, you have here three lines directly under each other. It's sort of vertigo effect where you think, well, I'm falling down there. So you couldn't tell immediately well, th what this line belongs to because it's hard, hard to parse at, at, at this stage. Do um, you have any idea or uh, an idea how you could improve this? Yes. Yes, that, that would be uh, um, one way to do it. And you could, uh, also, well, these already belong more together because, they're, uh, uh, because of the law of, of uh, proximity as well. Um, so if I just get rid of these boxes, these two are closer together than these two, so I would perceive them as belonging together more than to this one. And uh, yeah, there are actually quite a few uh, websites or books that deal with um, GUI bloopers or uh, also for website where they just talk about um, bad examples there. There are still seats here if you want to go through. Don't stand. This content was provided by RWTH, Aachen University.